In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how, at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned.
What's up everybody, it's your boy, your boy, the one and only gamer, and guys, today we're gonna play Medieval, and guys, I never played this game, and I, I only heard nothing but good things about this game, so, alright guys, so if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that like, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos, and remember, if you're new to this channel, elbow drop, that subscribe button and help the channel all right guys let's do this <laughs> and I should have played this more a little bit before because it looks more like a Halloween game but it doesn't matter guys If I'm not run this like a remaster from the old one. But I never played it. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. All right, now we jump. Do we take our head off to hit people? Is that what it is? Oh no, it's an arm. <laughs> it's an arm. I'm blind. All right. Just testing everything. I right, there's a book here. Any you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. All right. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. All right. So we got one. What's that? We need like, like a key or something? Oh no. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Mm, a rune stone. I need to find a rune stone, guys. Let me see. Do we check this? You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Alright. No, we came from here, but maybe there's something. Oh, you see? I would have kept on going. Oh, we don't even need to hit the things. Alright. Alright, let's go. 
Oh wait, what was that? Wait, there's something right here. This. Oh, that's that thing that was talking. All right, I think it's this way, guys. Oh, now we need to hit it. Oh, now we seem to have. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Alright. So this is how we... Wait, that's the arm. Alright, this is... Ah. Uh, did I just waste it? One? Alright, what's this? Found a star room. There's no way to go through there. Oh, Alright, so this is how are you? During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Found a small sword. So where's that room thing that we need to open that door? Doesn't seem like we can keep on going that way. Let me check. Well, no, this is blocked. All right. All right. We circle. We do this. I guess we have it. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. All right. Loading screens are pretty quick. Dance grip. Alright. The graveyard. your first step as a hero and slay some helpless zombies they might seem cranky but they just woke up from a nice long nap man let me switch into this Alright, so this one's you throw, this one's this one is to hit. Alright. The movement is a little off though. Maybe it's just getting used to. But it got that feeling like uh like the PS2. That's an arm? Oh that's that's a hand. Man, that's so cool. It's kinda like the Adams family. Or Hocus Pocus, where the guy loses his hand. That's pretty cool. Did we just took a little bit of help. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. <laughs> And they want to do it over your dead body. <laughs> All right. Cool game. Oh man, but how how do I do it in a way that I don't get hit? 
Every time I hit people, it's like I get hit too. Maybe it's throwing the thing. Wait, let me get here. Can I lock into them? Oh yeah. Oh man, why the camera move like that? That small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs. But when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks. But he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Break them. Uh, just don't break. I don't like this camera though. Like, it just kind of like feels jumpy a little bit. You see? Like. Oh, what's that? We found our room. Alright. Oh, let's not mess too much with that camera. Oh my god. If I press it, if I'm looking that way, why does. Oh. Oh my god, why? Alright. Hi. <laughs> they move so stupid. Alright, we got that. What is this for? I don't know. Maybe it's to save it or something? Oh, we don't got... Oh, we don't got that one. There's these things. Alright. That's the way to do it. Because with this, if you do it close, you usually, I don't know. You to get hit every single time I get too close to them. Nothing here. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamere. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Now we got the thing to open this. Oh man! Jesus Christ! Aye! Aye! Come on! My god! There's so many! Here's the whole camera. Remind me of the Fortnite zombies, you know? A little bit. Oh my god, this camera ain't thing. I hate it. I hate it. Out. We're throwing too many. Alright. Is that another hand? 
Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Just getting used to it, but it's just weird. The camera angles and... The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it. And you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamere. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Does it have to be this sword or the little daggers? How do I know it's getting filled up? Oh yeah, I forgot about that move. Maybe that's what the I need to do. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Right, so I guess we need to kill somebody to get that key. coming now you see this angles I'm not even moving the camera it's just going like that it, it won't stay down so I can't aim wow I think all right <clears throat> Get hit every single time. How do I hit people without without getting hit? Break it! Wow. Throw daggers. Can I buy? Uh, yeah, I need those. Oh man! What are you doing? Where's the daggers? Bro, I don't have daggers. I don't have daggers. Didn't I just bow daggers? Wow. I don't know. We're gonna die. This is ridiculous. Every time we hit something, we get hit. Ugh. You see? Okay, so we block with this. Maybe we don't get hit if we block. Let's see. How do we get up there? Doesn't seem to be able to. What about through this time? 
No. I'm gonna figure it out. Ah. Let's just keep on going. To block this is yes, alright. Alright. But we'll still get hit. Great. So we get live with those things. That's great. So we can like every single time we can like camp over here and get full. That's cool. Chill. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I look great. Let me get a little bit more health just to be good. I mean, that jumping is so. So dumb. What the hell? Didn't I just? Didn't I, I didn't stood enough. Alright. I don't seem to do anything. Is this some kind of secret? Oh! <laughs> So I cannot just see me talking. It doesn't seem to do anything and I just die. I need to go straight. Don't forget to pick up the chalice. What chalice? Where is it? Come on, just jump, dude. Ah. Ah. Oh no, what did I miss? Just to pick up the chalice, but... How do I get up there? Buy daggers, but where's the daggers though? It's just not enough coal. Hmm. What do I get to that side? It don't break. Alright, let me just see if I can find a way real quick. How you fill that up, though? The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of. But I don't see any more enemies. Do I know it's filled up? Ah, uh, we're just going back. I don't 
don't see any more enemies to kill. Nah. I wanna keep on going. Bad. through here you see how we open this though that is the question how we open this keep on going guys I'm not gonna be like I don't see I don't see a way to get up there has to be something really dumb though it's not like I can jump through here this guys man you see you see the camera weird angles that's so weird ah right, let's just go guys I'm not gonna be wasting my time too much Alright, let's just keep on going. Forget about the chalice. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, this for some reason you remind me like a Crash Bandicoot style, you know, like those times of games, like back in the day, like PS2. And I think this was a PS2 game, if I'm not wrong. But I don't know, guys. I never played this. So, so even from the shackles of death. My old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Oh, so I guess this. No, it doesn't seem to break with that. Alright, let's just... These boulders are going to crush your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. Yeah, better it than you, though. Okay. 
Probably first. Alright, we're getting better with the sword. Oh man, really? Come on, stop burning! Dude, it's still going. Oh, that's some gold. Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Thing blows up. Dude, what are you doing? Put the thing. Put the sword. I didn't even press triangle in any moment. And he's switching to the arm. What was that all about? Do we have to go that way? I don't think we can. Here's where we went. Here's now. So we want to burn with that. Alright, on some life. I think this might be what she meant. This break with this. No? I guess not. Doesn't even break with this. All right, we have daggers now. How you get the daggers, dude? We've been spending. Where's the daggers? Do we need to pause it? No. Oh. Oh, I think now we got it. What's this? Copper shield? Equip. Alright. Alright, so that's how you do it. Alright. Makes sense. Just I don't want to be pausing and checking menus and stuff when I'm playing and recording for you guys, you know? Wait, it can't be that we're going that way. I guess we are going that way, huh? Well, it's to use our shield. Oh, this might be... No! Is it that that we need to... No, oh, it doesn't break. And we're gonna die. I'm gonna go, but no, we're gonna die. Oh yeah, it does. It does break them. Come on, jump over it. Dude! Stop! This feels weird though. Dude, are you kidding me? He dropped me down. What is this switching to the arm? 
Bro, we're almost dying. And he keep on switching to the arm for whatever reason. I'm not even pressing the button to switch it. The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn with it, but beware. One bash too many, and it will break. Oh. All right, it's pretty cool. Okay, cool. But how do I get back up? Oh, dumb. All right. And what was that? There's no life thingy here. We're about to die. You said we can burn stuff. Okay. You break? Oh, secret. Die! Die! Burn it. Ah, whatever. Alright, before we go there... <laughs> that guy didn't even do anything. Should we go through here? Alright. A guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. There's a lot of blah 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 in this game, huh? Don't break. Ah, uh, there's nothing in this time. Dude, that thing don't last. Let me burn it again. It don't last that long. We're dying, man. We need some life. Oh man! Ooh, grab it! Dude! How you do this? That's insane! It keeps on changing every time to the wrong weapon. I don't know if when you get hit, it just automatically takes your weapon out. I, I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Die. get for breaking this. We don't get nothing.
kidding me? I'm trying to move out and it gets stuck. Break those things now, I think, but I'm not sure. You kidding me? Oh my god! Come on! Wow! This game is just hard though. Dude, look at how the three balls in a row! Like, how the hell you do this? Then this thing don't jump right, jump right. Go, 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 go. Jump. How are you supposed to do this when these controllers are so stupid? Straight up stupid, dude. It doesn't even move right. Oh my god, no! Wow. I'm gonna die it again. Oh my god, this game is incredible hard, man. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate this game.
Okay. Why are you moving the camera that way? Stop. God, too many balls. Wow. What? Did, how did I got hit? We made it! We give our lives. What? The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. Chest there is dumb. Okay, guys, I think that's it for this video. We died like a hundred times, guys. All right, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and remember. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, elbow drop that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you guys on the next video. Later.